Hello there, my beautiful Scorpio friends. How are you? Welcome back to Sacred Knowledge Tarot. I am so happy and thankful to each and every one of you for being here with me today. So thank you, everyone. And those of you that are brand new to my channel, hello and welcome. My name is Ria, and I do these readings every week. Now, Scorpio, I'm going to start your tarot reading off with a passage from this beautiful book called The Luminous Humanist. It's written by Kelly Sullivan Walton. In. After I read you this passage, I'm going to go ahead and pull three cards out of my tarot deck to see what message Spirit has for you. And after that, I'm going to pull a bonus card and an angel number for you as well. So stay tuned for all of this, my beautiful friends. Now, today, your passage is called Radical Receptivity and Radical Releasing. Being luminous in your humanness is having, having an open door policy with all this universe has to offer, Scorpio. Being luminous in, in your humanness is about profoundly enjoying and embracing all the blessings, absorbing all their nutrients into every cell and atom of your being. Being luminous in your humanness is also about gracefully letting go of all which you've claimed ownership when you feel it tug towards the exit. Being luminous in your humanness is about knowing there's always more, bigger and better in store for you just around the corner. So look at that. What a powerful passage for you today. Now, this also comes with an affirmation. I'm going to read that to you as well. I inhale the blessings from the universe and when it is time, I exhale them. And with gratitude galore, always making room for more. So look at that. I love that for you. Thank you so much for allowing me to share that passage with you today, Scorpio. I'm now going to start pulling some cards for you and see what Spirit would like you to know. All right, so let's see uh, what Spirit has in store for you today, Scorpio. Look at this. We're getting the Eight of Cups. So I'm getting this energy of releasing energies and it's just like uh, the passage that you had today. It's all about you exhaling everything that no longer serves your higher purpose, Scorpio. And I feel right now you're in this place where you're letting a lot go. Perhaps there's things in your life that you know have an expiration date and it's time to release those energies. I also feel for some of you, you're at a point in your life where you need something different. You're wanting more. So this is all coming in and some of you are creating this for yourself. Now, I also want you to use your own intuition with my reading, Scorpio. So whenever you see my card popping up I want you to try and interpret them using your own intuition not only will this strengthen your intuition but you will also receive your own messages okay so we've got the eight of cups we've got the page of cups coming in very emotional energy here through the cups it's like the water the waves and the tides kind of coming in and going out so I do feel some of you're feeling very emotional at this time and, you know, it is a, an emotional time, especially when you're releasing and letting go of things in your life. This could be people, lots of different things that uh, can get our emotions uh, feeling like we're on a roller coaster. Now, there is a message or something coming in for you. Also, Scorpio, with the Page of Cups being present in your spread, that this is good news. This is really going to touch your heart, whatever this is. So I want you to be aware and mindful that there is something coming in. This could be intuitive, but I do have a feeling that there's is coming in through a person okay so we'll take a look at this a little bit more and the hierophant card so I feel there's almost like this leaning towards spirituality right now for some of you Scorpios out there that you're kind of uh, digging deep into the roots of spirituality or trying to learn something on a more deeper level whatever this is perhaps you're looking at astrology maybe you're looking at tarot but I feel there's a lot of um knowledge that you are taking in at this time and I do feel that you are trying to enhance your knowledge to add more value to yourself and I feel for a lot of you that perhaps if you have some money to invest in a coach or a mentor is going to help you in a big way here so give me a moment here while I take a look at these cards and see what my intuition is drawing in for you today so letting go of things and um I'm getting belief systems here as well. So I do feel for some of you, there's been a shift in your belief. Uh, perhaps this is because of something that has happened recently. And I feel a lot of you are kind of releasing things that aren't aligned to this belief system, this new belief system that you have kind of 
um, acquired or you have created in your life and I feel a lot of you are shifting many different things in your life you're kind of aligning yourself to your higher self and I feel as a whole in this world people are tapping more into their own spirituality and they're looking for answers through their own intuition rather out rather than outside of themselves and you know I feel that some of you might not be having a good sleep or you're having trouble sleeping right now and it's because of this there's this really intense emotional energy in the air for some of you where spirit guides are asking you to breathe through this energy here and if you're feeling overly emotional to cry it out allow yourself to feel the emotions here Scorpio I feel that rightfully you should allow yourself and um, release whatever it is that is kind of pent up there within you okay and sometimes we need a good cry so I feel some of you need a good cry whether you do this on your own or not I sometimes need a good cry and I'll just go to the bathroom lock the door cry it out and then wait a little bit because my eyes do go red you can tell when I cry you can tell immediately because my eyes go bloodshot so Allow yourself to feel the emotions of whatever this is that you are feeling at this time, Scorpio. Okay, our emotions are valid. I feel for some of you, um, perhaps this energy is um, you wanting more in life. Perhaps you have a really good life right now. Everything is good. Your job is good. Your family is great. Your relationships are great. But there's almost like this calling, this yearning or this longing for something different, something new. Something that maybe you can't even make sense of and you're kind of searching for this, whatever this is. And this is coming in for you. I'm seeing some of you walking away from your lives. And it's not necessarily like everything. It's more like, okay, I, I'm seeing a change coming in and I'm wanting to follow my heart. There's something that is calling out to me and I'm going to walk away from whatever is kind of here and follow this journey, this kind of energy. And I feel that some of you are going to take a big risk or a leap of faith. I'm getting the fool card coming in right now. So uh, I don't know if you've been seeing the number one or the number eight anywhere in your life right now, Scorpio, but I feel that spirit guides are wanting you to embrace the energy of the life path one or eight. Okay, there's something that is calling you. And if you are able to look up these life path numbers, you may get your answers here. Okay, and I feel some of your clearing out clutter. You're clearing out friendship clutter. You're clearing out clutter in your home. You're getting rid of things that no longer serve your higher purpose. And sometimes this can be emotional as well, right? An emotional process. Sometimes we have friendships that have been in our life for a very long time, but they drag us down or they're not benefiting us in any way. And they come with an expiration date, some friendships. And it's now time for you. This is your sign to release those energy. You have to break free because I feel for some of you, these relationships are keeping you in that a lower level energy you're meant to ascend here you're meant to come up to a higher frequency a higher vibration so whatever friendships are holding you down right now Scorpio it's time to release them and it's you're going to feel this like elastic band energy where it's going to launch you forward here it's going to be a hard process to let go because I feel the friendships might not understand what is happening but I feel um, they know this is coming I feel there's almost like this distance. This could be in a relationship with family members, right? This could be work related. Um, but I'm seeing some of you walking away even from work, even from a relationship. Maybe there's a marriage that you've been hanging on to because of other ties, right? This could be reasons, uh, children can be a reason for this, right? Or whatever reason, belief or religion or whatever this is. But I'm seeing some of you really walking away from this because it's, not um you know i feel that even though things are good you're just not aligned to your partner and this has been something that you've been aware of for a long time so you're now making that decision to walk away so there is a new path in a sense like the fool card some of you are entering and there's some news or message coming in somewhere in your life around this as well there's something that is going to touch your soul touch your heart that is going to make your heart sing scorpio Okay, so this could be a message that you have been waiting for. Um, this could be a message that is going to open this path up in order for you to make changes. It might not feel good in the moment, but it's a blessing in disguise here. Okay, so 
this is good news, but sometimes good news doesn't present itself as good news and you don't realize it's good news until after the fact, okay? So in a sense, there is some good news coming in, whether this is coming through in intuitively, maybe you're dreaming about something that is touching your heart or calling you to do something and you're meant to do it. I also feel that as this new good, good news comes in, it's basically opening up that fresh new path, that blank canvas. And because this is happening, there's a lot of learning that you're going to do. There's going to be a learning curve here because I feel for some of you, you haven't been on your own for a long time. And because you're taking this solo path, you're going to have to learn a lot of new things along the way. And this, in a sense, is actually strengthening you, uh, Scorpio. So don't be afraid of this energy. Don't be afraid to take that leap of faith. Don't be afraid of the unknown. There's so much guidance, so much support that you have on the other side. So believe in that power and believe in the power of you. Okay, perhaps some of you are wanting to travel and you haven't been ha haven't had a chance to do this in your life and you're finally making that move to do it. Or perhaps you're starting that business that you've been wanting to or that passion project, whatever this is. Remember everyone, we all live a different life experience. These cards are going to present themselves differently in each of our lives. Okay, but I do feel this beautiful energy. It's almost like your cup is overflowing. Okay, this, this feeling, this could be the emotions as well, just overflowing outside of you. And I'm getting a new relationship coming in for some of you. I don't know how this is going to play out in your life. This could be a child because I'm getting a very young energy, like a fresh new energy coming in. So this could be a new child coming into your life. Um, this could be a person. This could be a soulmate energy. Um or a relationship that is going to benefit you in some way. This could be a soulmate, like a best friend energy. Um, but whatever this is, it's going to be really good for you, Scorpio. And as you're going through this process here, some of you need to seek advice or guidance. This is going to benefit you and have a positive impact on your future, especially those of you that are having a really hard time with the letting go and releasing, okay? So even tapping into spirituality or going back to your roots here. This is kind of what spirit guides are showing me. I also feel that there's a lot of spiritual awakenings happening, um, that you're leveling up spiritually, but not only that, there's almost like this higher vibration, higher frequency that some of you are ascending to. Um, this is so beautiful because sometimes when we go through this upward energy, we don't know, it, it feels turbulent. It's almost like going on an airplane and feeling that turbulent energy of the plane shaking and stuff. It can be scary, but know that this is, and that shakiness and sometimes what happens, you know, I've been in a plane, um, flying to India through really nasty, turbulent energy where I thought I was going to die. <laughs> like literally I thought the plane was going to fall. It was so terrifying and luggage was falling out. It was the worst experience of my life. And this is kind of for some of you that it might feel like where that things are shaking and falling out of place. But this is a manifestation. This is that ascension that is happening for some of you. And it is necessary for things to be shaken up in your life for that manifestation, that formation to take place. Okay, and this is that spiritual growth that is happening. And sometimes when we spiritually grow, it can be a lonely place. So rather than thinking of it as a lonely place, think of it as an opportunity to get to know yourself a little bit more better, right? And to really tap into your inner guidance and spiritually uh, grow because I feel a lot of you are being enlightened in a way. Okay, there's almost like this clarity coming in. Veils are being lifted. You're seeing things through a different lens. I'm getting the hangman card. Even though I haven't pulled the hangman card, I've been feeling this energy quite a bit through some of the signs here today. So as I'm doing these readings. Now, I don't know if there is an Aries or Taurus energy anywhere around you right now, um, Scorpio, but I'm getting this energy of an Aries or Scorpio, uh, sorry, Aries or Taurus coming in. I'm also getting a Scorpio energy, not only yourself, but another Scorpio around you. So uh, I don't know if it's in your birth chart somewhere. If you have a double Scorpio energy, I'm a double Gemini, Gemini sun and rising, right? Um, but this Taurus Aries energy, if there's somebody around you, maybe spirit guides are calling you to embrace these energies of the Aries or Taurus. But what I'm going to do is leave these uh, readings for these signs at the very end. Um, grabbing a me mentor or a coach, if you have uh, investment to do that, is going to also help launch you forward here, Scorpio, especially in business or if you're trying to start something new. 
right? And you're wanting success around this. I also feel um, temporarily finding someone that you are aligned to online, right? That inspires you or motivates you. This is almost like a coach, but not someone that you pay for, but you watch and you follow because they inspire you so much to be like them or to do something. Um, but watching someone online is also going to help you out. What I, who I've been watching quite a bit of is Jay Shetty. Um, it's just a wonderful, wonderful human being. And just the information that he's able to express and the way he articulates is, is what um, kind of inspires me. It really does. So there's lots of different people that I watch online. Dan Ko is another one that I watch. I, I speak about him quite a bit, but I feel that the way he speaks, the way he brings um, information out, the way he ex like articulates, I understand it, right? So I'm able to tap into that um, knowledge with him on a more deeper level just because of the way he speaks. So I feel there's this growth happening within you. There's a lot of different things, like you're shedding a lot here and I'm getting a snake. So I get, it's almost like the snake is shedding its skin and becoming this uh, newer version of themselves. Someone that you're more attuned to, someone that you're more aligned to, which is your actual version of yourself that you're wanting to bring out to the world here, Scorpio. So I feel a lot of you are going through this shift and you know people in your lives are even parting as a natural process of this and it's not you it's 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 not you and i feel that if you're noticing that maybe people aren't aligned to you right now they're not meant to be in your life you are ascending and they're still in that lower vibrational energy and what happens with this lower vibration is that you were once aligned to them when you were at that level but you're rising up here scorpio so you have to allow yourself to flow with that energy and the part that happens the shedding that is happening because you're a snake that's shedding the skin and you're moving upwards and you're leaving everything that no longer serves your higher purpose behind okay so there's a lot of good things coming towards you a fresh new beginning and a lot of good news okay and this new chapter of your life is going to be one that you're going to be very proud of it's not going to be easy that's for sure i feel just the shedding process isn't going to be easy but once you break free from all of that and you're in this beautiful place because i'm getting a really bright white light it's going to feel so good for you capricorn so believe in the power of you trust that the universe and spirit guides are conspiring in your favor some of you are seeing signs all around you right now confirming these are good omens all around you so i feel it's there for sure um, I'm now going to pull a bonus card for you as well. This is the Sacred Forest Oracle deck that one of my lovely viewers had suggested in the comment section. So I'm using this today. Um, I didn't realize I actually, I knew I had it. I hadn't uh, looked at it or used it. So uh, just from that suggestion, I was able to pull it out and use it today on my channel here. So I'm going to pull one card and read you the interpretation from the guidebook. All right, my friends, let's see what we get for you today. Scorpio, foggy bog. Patience is required here. So some of you might be going through that foggy bog. And the uncertainty and the not so clear vision right now as you are shifting, sometimes this can scare us because we don't know what's ahead. And spirit guides are wanting you to tap into your inner strength here and ground your energy at this time to help you uh, kind of navigate through this foggy bog, okay, and having patience. So let me pull up the interpretation for this card here, foggy bog. I love the name foggy bog. I don't know why, but foggy bog i've heard this word before and i think my kids used it when they were younger so all right let's read this message on this card the message of this card is to be quiet and still right now scorpio the time is not right to go forward now it's hard to see what lies ahead and the truth of things may not be as they initially appear events that seem one way may in fact be completely different just as the egret exhibits great patience as he waits for a fish to emerge, so too must you be still and allow the truth to emerge. In this state of obscured visibility, your imagination can surge forward and spark your intuition. If you can't wait long enough, your sixth sense will be ignited. Listen to your inner yearnings and pay attention to those seemingly random thoughts. 
Water represents emotions, feelings, and the subconscious. When the water becomes condensed as fog, it obscures, it obscures the true shape of things. We can't see clearly the way we can in light. If we move forward, we risk getting caught in acidic, waterlogged soil and decaying plant matter. Heed the warning here to not allow unexamined emotions to overwhelm your growth. The spirit of the foggy bog says to you today, Scorpio, have patience. Wait until the fog lifts before taking action. The truth will emerge in time. You just need to go deeper. Follow your intuition. And this is kind of what I was feeling here is listening to that inner guidance. Okay, that's not going to lead you astray. And for some of you, as you're making moves in your life right now, as you're shedding, as you're letting go, and before you move forward, allow things to clear up here, my friends. Okay, so that is your message from the tarot cards. I'm now going to pull an angel number for you as well. Some of you have been seeing angel numbers. This is going to give you your confirmation. And for others, you can use this as an affirmation. So let's see what we get for you today, Scorpio. Number 13, I am confident. So if you've been seeing 13s anywhere in your life, know that you are confident and spirit guides are asking you and calling you to be confident. Let me read you the message on this card. You are a conscientious worker with a knack for coming up with creative ideas and turning them into something real. An optimistic but practical outlook keeps you determined and on track as you steadily work towards your goals, my friends. One plus three is four. So if you're seeing a four anywhere in your life, uh, look up the life path number for that as well. There may be a number four somewhere in your life here, Scorpio. Okay, so there is some significance with this number here for you and number 13. So this, my friends, is your reading today. I hope it resonates for you. If it does, please comment below, hit that like button. And if you're brand new to my channel and you're enjoying my content, please consider subscribing. Other than that, I wanted to wish you all a beautiful day and thank you so much for watching. Thank you.